Welcome to part two. Let's now record some video from the document camera. Now I've plugged in the document camera into the USB port and I have it set up pointing down. Um, and what I want to do is if I was going to, if I was really making a podcast about um, the thermometer, I would have a physical thermometer here that I might show underneath my document camera. But the document camera you can think of, it's just like a webcam. Um, so you could even do all this with a webcam. The document camera just has nice lights and a bunch of other features that you could use. So just pretend that I'm holding um, a thermometer when it comes to that point. Now you can see over here uh, in the task list, in the task list, um, I've got some options here of media to, to handle. So I can click record camera right there. Now um, if I really know the video that I want to capture, I might do this before I do anything down here on the timeline. Okay, But if later I need to record some more video, um, I can do that later as well after my project has already started. But I'm going to record a little bit right now. So I'm going to click the record camera button. Okay, now it pulls open. I'm just going to pull this down so you can see the whole window. Um, and you can see it's ready for me to, to, to start recording, a big start recording button. Now the camera will show up here as an available video device. So if you've got more than one camera hooked up, you might have um, more choices there. But most likely we just have one. All right, now, um, so that's the first thing to look at. And there's some different properties I could go through and, and, and do some other things there, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to let the camera be on default. And you can see it's giving me a little preview of um, what it's going to film. I might adjust it a little bit so I get a nice clean background um, so I don't have any extra stuff. Let me just slide that around a bit. Um, okay. Of course, I would have had this set up prior to getting to this point. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, all right, so it's ready there for me to record. And I want to just, before I start recording, I want to get an idea of what it's going to look like. So that's where I'm going to show you the thermometer when it's ready to record. Okay, so I'll just show you my cell phone, pretend it's a thermometer. Now, if I was doing a podcast, uh, an episode about some other math concept and I had some manipulatives or some other things that I needed to show, then uh, this is how you do it. Now, this document camera does not have um, lights, so you can see as I move this around, I'm getting an auto exposure happening. Um, if you've got a camera that has um, built in lights, you'll get a much better effect. You won't probably see that auto um, exposure happening. Okay, the other thing I want to make sure I set up here is the microphone, and I can see that my microphone is working quite well. Um, I can see this levels. If you need to check out your microphone, you click the setup button here, and I could select the device. Okay, this is a headset microphone. I know the name of it because we've used it before, so I know it's the C Media one. Um, I could also adjust the input volume right here, and it will do this for you if you click the next button. Um, you can have it auto adjust the input volume by clicking auto adjust, read that sentence, it'll adjust it. So if you're really a loud talker or really a soft talker, you can have it automatically do it. And I'm going to say finish, and now it's ready to, re to record. So, easy enough. I'm just going to press the start recording button. Now, it doesn't really give you a, a countdown like before, so you got to be ready. So, this is the thermometer that we're going to use. It's a Celsius thermometer on one side and a Fahrenheit thermometer on the other side. We'll be using that in class. I want you to be um, careful with this so that uh, doesn't break. It does not have mercury in it. The liquid that goes up and down as it heats and cools is alcohol. So now I'm just going to press the stop recording button and it's going to save it as a separate video file. So it wants me to give it a name. So I'll name this um, thermometer. Uh, whoops, got to get in there to name that. Okay, my, my uh, Okay, type in a name, or well, maybe type in a name. Okay. 
Okay, sorry about that. So this is going to be my thermometer um, video piece and it's already saving it to the right place. That's the folder on the desktop. If it wasn't already saving it there, I'd probably open this up and navigate um, right to that spot that I wanted it to save. Okay, right there. Say save. Okay, and I am finished recording, so I'm going to come up and click this finish button up at the top. And you can see that video has been added into my clip in. And if I wanted to before I dragged it down to the timeline, if I wanted to see how it worked, I can double click on it and it will play over here. Okay, I'll stop that. Um, but I just wanted to check it out. Now, the uh, document camera I have, it takes a low resolution um, video, so it's pretty small, but it'll, it'll do for this example.